Now let us discuss about the maximum power drawn by an external resistance when connected across a cell. Suppose you have a resistance or a resistor having resistance R connected across a cell. Cell of EMR E. Let EMR E be the EMF of the cell and the cell has an internal resistance. Let's say small letter R. This whole unit represents this uh, the uh, dotted rectangle represents the cell because a cell always has an internal resistance. Now we know this is the positive terminal of the cell and this one is the negative terminal. A current always originates from the positive terminal of the cell. It moves in this direction and passes through the external resistance and come back to the negative terminal. And from the figure itself, you, it is clear that the current through the small resistance, the internal resistance R and the external resistance remains the same. Since the current is same, this R and small letter R are in series. So that their effective resistance R effective will be in series, the effective resistance will be the sum of the resistance. Let's call that as equation number one. Now we have current I. The value of current will be voltage. Here the voltage is E by R effective. Implies the equation of current I is equal to E divided by R plus R. When you take this R plus R to the left, you will get I into R plus R is equal to E or i r plus i into small r is equal to e when you take this i r to the left you will get i into capital r is equal to e minus i r see when you look at this equation i into r is the voltage across the external resistance or we will say that as terminal potential terminal potential v is equal to e minus i r Let's call that as equation number two. Clear. Now, we have the power across, the power, power across the resistance R. Let's call that as power. Power is always voltage times current. So power P is equal to, we know voltage is equal to E minus I R into, you have to again multiply, the, you have to multiply this with I. So that power is equal, the expression for power is equal to E I minus I into I, I square R. Let's call that as equation number 3. Now, in order to find the value of maximum power, First, what you have to do, you have to find the derivative of P with respect to I. That is dP by dI. If the power is maximum or minimum, we have dP by dI is equal to 0. This is uh, according to uh, the law of derivatives. If dP by dI, the derivative of a function with respect to another function is 0, which means the value of power is either maximum or minimum. So, d by di of ei minus i square r is equal to, this e is constant, so e into derivative of di by di minus here r is constant, r into d by di of i square. So the power will be dp by di will become dp by di is equal to this is equal this is 1 so e minus r into derivative of i square is 2 by Therefore, dp by di is equal to e minus 
e minus 2 i r. Let us call that as equation number 4. Now, as I said before, this dp by di equal to 0 means, 0 means we have to equate this to 0, so, so that the power may be maximum or minimum. So, let us let us write dp by di equal to 0 implies e minus 2 i r equal to 0. That means e is equal to 2 i r. Let us call that as equation number 5. e is equal to 2 i r. Now we need to check whether it is maximum or minimum. For that we have to find the second derivative of this one. So d square p by d i square. I am der deriving this equation one more time. So that d by d i of e minus 2 i r will be derivative of e is 0. This 2 r is constant. So, minus 2r into derivative of i is equal to 1. So, it is equal to minus 2r. Clearly, resistance can't be negative and its value will be less than 0. When d square p by di square less than 0, that means power is maximum. When the second derivative, this is according to the law of second derivative, second derivative test. When the second derivative of a function with respect to another function is less than 0, then the power is maximum. Provided before we have to find first derivative equal to 0. Clear. So, E is equal to that is E equal to 2 IR is the condition for maximum power maximum power maximum power p therefore you know e is equal to or e is equal to 2 into i is equal to i we already know e by r plus r so i can be substituted using e by r plus r times r you can cancel this e and this e when taking this r plus r to the left, r plus r is equal to 2r. There will be 1 in here. So, 1 into r plus r equal to r plus r. Simplifying this, you will get r is equal to 2r minus r, which means r is equal to r. This is the condition for maximum power, which means maximum Power. That means when the external resistance is equal to numerically equal to the internal resistance, the power taken by the resistor will be maximum or the maximum power is drawn from the cell. So, this is the condition for maximum power.